2005 Toyota 4Runner, my um, check engine light uh, and VSC track off uh, came on. Uh, I don't know why, so we're going to plug the code reader and see what happens. So I started the car, and when I started the car, you can see that the check light, check engine light is turned on, and the VSC track is also turned on. So we will we will plug the uh, the code reader and see what it says. So the code reader plug in this particular car is under the dash on top of the manual brake you're gonna see a little cap right here which we're gonna remove and there is the plug so now the plug is connected And let's see what the handy dandy says. We're going to do a check engine check. So it tells me that he found one code. F no, P P0420 catalyst system efficiency below threshold so after we got the uh, P0420 uh, code uh, one of you know it indicates that we have a bad catalytic converter or there's a pressure issue the first thing that was recommended is that we tried to clean it so this is a product that I found in AutoZone so a shout out to AutoZone in Red Bank, uh, Tennessee, uh, to Sherman and Alfonso, who recommended this product. I'm going to try it. So the first thing to do is to pump a quarter tank in it. This is a 16-gallon tank, 15, but it holds a little more. So we're going to put four gallons of gas in the car, 93 octane, and then we're going to put this cataclean to see if it cleans a little bit, the catalytic converter. So here we are. We just put about uh, four gallons of gas into the tank that's a quarter full it was an empty and now I will put the catalytic uh, converter cleaner so there we go okay till in so now I'm gonna drive it for about 15 20 minutes and then I'm gonna fill it up with gas now this particular car gave us a P420 error code, meaning that there's a cat catalytic converter pressure issue or temperature issue or loss of pressure. And he was on bank one. And bank one or bank two has to do with the location of the spark plugs on this car, the cylinders. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So in this particular car is telling you that the problem we have with this catalytic converter or the sensors is on bank one it's on the passenger side now this 2005 model v6 two wheel drive has got four sensors one before catalytic converter and one after so the ones that we want to replace are the ones on bank one on the passenger side on this side so the first thing we're going to do now that we found the oxygen sensor this right here so this thing is screwed in there pretty good with a with a little connector here so uh this thing gets so hot that these threads sometimes are really difficult to get out so we're going to spray it with a little bit of penetrating oil so that we can uh hopefully be able to remove it a little bit easier in a little bit so we push that detent and now let's see if we can make some magic happen right here I push it Yeah. 
doing some gas on me. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right, we got it. So in order to get it out, you have to push this detent right there. So this is the sensor that we're going to put in, it's a Denso, um, and I'll show you guys the part number uh, right about now in the video. We put a little anti high temp anti seize there, and now we're going to screw it in. We're going to start by hand, trying to find the threads. There. And at one point it's going to get tight. And we're going to bring a wrench to tighten it up. Snug. This is a three uh, seven eighths wrench. This sensor really uses a twenty two millimeter wrench, but three eighths is a pretty good, pretty good approximation to twenty two millimeters. So that's what we're gonna use, and we're gonna make it tight. <clears throat> okay. So after it's tight, we're going to put the sensor in. And as you can see, this side has a detent. And when we got the sensor out, the detent is on this side. So the sensor plug must go like this. I'm going to try to make it. I broke my arm a couple weeks ago so it's kind of hard to do everything with one hand that's for sure okay there so now we're just gonna and we hear the click and that should be it so we're gonna test the car and see if the alarm goes off. We still have the upstream sensor to change, uh, but we're gonna do that at a later time. Cool, hopefully this will help you. Thanks for watching. Okay, so after we changed the downstream oxygen sensor on this 2005 Toyota 4 Runner V6 to wheel drive, uh, and we cleared uh, the alarm codes, they did not come back on. So we're gonna drive on it a couple of days and see if they come back on. That we may get a P0430, which is for the other side, because they do recommend that when you change one oxygen sensor on one side, you change the other. Uh, but so far, so good. So thanks for watching. And this is Axel with the 4 engine.